all right guys we're like here and welcome back to a quick easy video tutorial sort of thing now this time we're going to be going over nico's midi kit um inside fl studio 12 now you may have heard of this it is a fairly well-known kit and for good reason um it's got it's packed with like thousands of midi files um chord progression and melodies as well um it's covering all genres you can think of um and ranging in all the different 12 musical keys so you know a b c d all that stuff it's got you covered um the pack as well is used by over 50,000 artists producers and songwriters ranging from beginners to grammy nominated artists and even like the top 100 djs are using this um and it's really not like it's not hard to see why it's a very good kit but the thing is and the question we're going to be asking today is will it work with drill can we make a drill beat out of it um i'm not sure but we will see also i'm going to fix this uh color gradient because it's getting on my nerves so we're going to go and do this kind of like peach color like that maybe and then we'll go like pink maybe there we go beautiful looks like a drake instagram photo anyway um let's see what we got uh doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah so we have our sounds here we have a. Uh, we have a pad, kind of a dark pad. We have some bells here. Which you may change the velocity on. And the piano is a backbone here. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to turn off the limiter quickly. And we're going to go into um, Nico's kit. See what we've got here. So a lot of this stuff is kind of just drag and drop. You know, as you would expect um, from a MIDI kit. Um... But let's say we want a, let's go um, F minor, F minor. We've got best melodies, best chords. Uh, we have, so in the best melodies section, again, we have uh, th different musical genres. We have um, chords, again, the same thing. We just kind of go through them and have a look at them. And even with melodies, we have the, um, we have, yeah, a whole lot to choose from. It's kind of crazy, like, how much is in here. Um, just endless kind of opportunities to do this again arps as well we've got arps like madness just so much stuff in here to play around with it's you know you could spend days and days just um going through these even so let's pick one in the kind of best melody section 140 bpm let's go down to 140 then um and we'll pick in any now the wet dry i'm gonna be honest i'm not sure what that means um but let's go c minor 140 bpm turn this off um and we'll listen to what we've got here again obviously very intricate melodies here and now me personally i'm hearing maybe like an up upper octave in the second um, melody here Uh, maybe not, I think it's fine how it is. Okay, now if we add this to the bell section as well, we can maybe layer it a bit. And now with the pad, you guys always know what I like to do with pads. Um, we're going to take the melody out here. We're going to hit Alt-L, drag these out a bit, and um, we should have quite an ambient and uh, nice sounding melody so far. Now, I will leave it up to you to decide if that is dark trap. It kind of sounds um, a bit more happy, a bit more upbeat, but again, um, you could definitely use this for a drill. Um, again, let's see if we can... Let's maybe try um, B minor um, melody here with a dark one. I'll go again for 140 and we will drag this in here.
Okay, very nice sounding. Let's try again with um this one here. Oh, it's the same one. That's my bad. Um, so I believe a few of these are the same. Um, again, oh, it's the end chord that changes. So we see here F sharp minor, B minor, and then do an E minor. Um, okay, I was I was a bit confused there, but I get it now. Um, let's try one more. Again, these are sounding good, but let's see what we can do. D minor, best melodies. Let's kind of go through these and have a look now. Um. 148, let's try this one then. <clears throat> okay, let's try that, bring this in. And then I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to put it in this top section here. Um, actually, we'll get rid of this first. Um, and then we'll remove the melody for the pad. Hit Alt L, bring these out. Um, and just kind of move them along like this, nice and easy. I'll turn it back on. Yeah, we got a nice melody here, um, and let's start adding in some counter stairs now. Um, so again, we can use the kind of the same thing we've got here, um, just bounce it along a bit. Now again, if you're not sure how to do counter melodies, I do have videos going over them and drill guides, so uh, just check my channel. Okay, so just adjust some of these bosses here. Okay, um, next we're going to go into my <clears throat> my enhanced kit and grab some minis out of there quickly. Um, just a simple one, unknown. Yeah, faster one maybe. Um, um and just move. Um, and we'll make these rolls just slide up a bit like that. Um, and then we'll copy that over. Again, very simple, very easy stuff, but again, that's what makes the best beats, guys. These melodies are very quite intricate, though, um, which is kind of, it's good. It's good to see producers doing this. So I'm going to grab a snare now. I did forget to put in a snare, so we'll grab one now. Um, LMD sound pack. LMD is pretty decent. Uh, let's try Cardiac, maybe. Cardiac is very good at snares.
Bringing the drill parts, let's go. I'm feeling it, boys. I'm feeling it. to the parts first. Now, another thing we can do as well with this um, kit is we can actually, so say we wanted um. Hold on, so this kit is in D minor. I think if we, again, this is kind of experimenting a bit here, um, but we can go into Nico's kit again and we can basically grab, um, where is it? Uh, where's the kit, where's the kit, where's the kit? Um, we can grab like a D minor, um, that's melodies, I think, um, bonuses, ARP. So we can grab like an ARP, um, back and forth roll an arp um as long as i think this is in d minor so this may work this may not work again if it doesn't work i apologize um but let's grab it over here have this in the second part only but as you can see guys this is very intricate stuff i mean this guy's not playing about Um, we might need to change some of the notes here, uh, just to fit with this scale a bit better. Let's bring this down like this. Again, um, with MIDI kits, they are very flexible, you know, everyone's not set in stone. You can kind of play about with them and see what you, what you can do here. Um... So again, it's sounding a bit more pop than drill, but um, that's totally fine here. Um, that's totally fine. Uh, again, it's nice not to just be making, you know, beats that sound dark all the time. But again, this does sound very kind of dark and atmospheric and good. So let's uh, let's listen. Very good. Again. Uh, cut the sail away. And then with MIDI kits as well, you can kind of follow the melody here to kind of, um, well, the notes really.
I think with this um this arpeggio, I think we're gonna gross beat it just to kind of slow it down a bit. It is a bit fast, uh, which obviously is the intention of an arpeggio, but so I think that just gives it a bit more of a mystical feel. Um but again, uh let's see what we got. I don't know why the attack on this is Yeah, I'm going to add these um, on 7 and 8. Um, we're going to add a bit of delay to these just to kind of make them bounce a bit more. Um, and yeah, two steps here. I'll probably just save preset and drag this along. Way too much input. Uh, let's move this across here. I'm gonna quick crash here just to bring it. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, that was a quick review and an overview of Nico's kit, again, um, amazing sounds in here for all genres, all musical styles, so go grab it if you're interested, um, but other than that guys, thank you very, very much for watching, um, let me know what you think in the comments, of course, like, subscribe and share, all that good stuff, and I will see you 